Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today we're working on a Honda Accord. It's a 2008. We're doing a rear brake job. Actually, we're doing all the brakes, but we're on the rear right now. Changing out the brake pads and rotors. And I want to show you something. Very helpful tip. So right now we have the caliper apart. And we have two brake pads out. And you can see they sandwich just like this. And when we're looking at these brake pads, you can see something's wrong. The top brake pad which is the inside brake pad, is worn out completely. Actually, it's worn out down to the backing plate, which was causing a loud squeaking noise, which is why we had to change the brakes. But you could also see there's pad material here, but there's no pad material here. So it's wearing unevenly. Now the other side is wearing evenly. You can see here the pad material is pretty consistent throughout. It's actually not worn out that much. It's rear brakes, so they don't get used as much. But we have a problem here where it's worn out inconsistently. There's more wear on this side than this side. And also, the brake pads themselves, there's more wear on the inside than the outside. This thing's worn down all the way, and this has plenty of meat left. Now, that problem could be caused by a few things. One, your caliper could be shot. A lot of times, the caliper piston here will push unevenly on the brake pad. So when this is sitting in here, it might push on the top of the brake pad more, which gives you that uneven wear, so the bottom has less wear, the top has more wear. Usually if a brake caliper is going bad, you'll notice that there's a leak somewhere around here, and you'll see brake fluid, or this won't be out evenly. You'll see the piston on the brake caliper will be at an angle, instead of being parallel with the rest of the caliper here. But this looks nice and parallel, there's no brake fluid, and the piston's pushed out evenly. So everything checks out with this brake caliper visually. So I really don't think it's the brake caliper. But what I do think the problem is, are these caliper guide pins. The bottom caliper guide pin moves nice and easy. It's all greased up, it's nice and smooth, but this top one here doesn't move at all. Like this thing, this thing is not budging. I can barely push it out. So these caliper guide pins have to move freely back and forth. You can see the bottom one's in good shape. This moves back and forth, no problem, and that allows the caliper and brake pads to float right over the rotor. So when there's pressure on the brakes, it makes even contact. If one of these is seized up and doesn't move, you're gonna have uneven wear. So the guide pins have these little rubber boots here, and the rubber boots protect the guide pin from any brake dust. You wanna make sure those are in good condition. There's no rips or tears. That's the first thing you do, inspect those. The other thing is, since those are rubber, you wanna make sure that you're using a silicone grease and not a petroleum-based grease. Silicone is compatible with rubber. It won't wear out rubber over time. Petroleum-based grease will degrade rubber over time. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get the silicone paste, and although it might be a little bit expensive, this big jug will last you a long time, and you'll do the job properly. We're gonna start with the bottom caliper bolt because that's the one that's not seized up, so we could actually remove it if you can. Might have to get in here and separate the rubber. Just so that you could remove that, like so. Pull that out, and we got our caliper pin. Clean off all the grease. Now's a good time to inspect the pin for wear. You can see there's no grooves. There's a little wear right there, but that's nothing bad, and it looks good. If you see grooves or if you see this is worn down a lot where it's like a flat spot, then you should replace your caliper guide pins. Now we'll get our silicone paste. It has a brush at the end. We'll take our silicone and we'll rub it right on. Slide it right back in. All the way. Any extra silicone you could just remove with your finger. Clean that up a bit. Move this around. And now you can see this moves around nice and smooth like it's supposed to. Now we're gonna go to the top one here, and this top one is completely seized. Might have to get a hammer in here. Just lightly tap this out. This is in here good. Careful of your rubber here. You don't wanna pierce the rubber by mistake. Pull that right out. And this grease is like mud. So we're gonna have to clean this off and replace it. Wow, this is really dirty. No wonder it wasn't moving. Might help to remove the little boot on this side of it. Let's take that off for now. You can see this is gummed up really good, and that's why it wasn't moving back and forth smoothly, and that's why we got uneven wear on our brake pads. We're gonna have to use some brake cleaner, get this completely clean. 
And this is actually a good opportunity to show you a bad guide pin that you're going to have to replace because you can see all the corrosion on here, so this isn't going to move smoothly anymore. That's a good example of a bad guide pin. For right now, I'm going to have to reuse this guide pin because the parts store doesn't have them in. So I used a wire wheel to clean them up really well. This is just a temporary solution, and when the new guide pins come in, we'll switch them out. And now we'll add our silicone paste. The guide pin's all lubed up. Let's go install it now. So our rubber boot here has a little end, and that end clicks right in to this end right here. So we're just going to push that in, just like so. Get our guide pin. Slide it right in. Any of the extra silicone that comes out, just take off, and there we go. That guide pin is moving like it should, compared to before where it was all seized up. So now our brakes will wear evenly. So now we got both of these caliper guide pins greased up. They're moving nice and smoothly. The top one which was seized is going in and out, and that's good. And there we go. Greasing up the guide pins and the importance of caliper guide pins is something that's overlooked in many brake systems. When you're doing a brake job, you're thinking brake pads, brake rotors, but you don't really think about the importance of the caliper guide pins. And as you saw, they make a big difference. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. The top tip for this video is I'm going to show you what the passenger side looks like. Here's the passenger side brakes. You can see they're worn completely evenly, which is good. That means our guide pins are working correctly and our caliper is working correctly. This is what it's supposed to look like. So here's one of the guide pins. I just want to show you, this is without me greasing it. This is factory. This is how it was. This is the kind of rebound you're going to have. So even though this is working, you still want to grease these because as you see, there is movement, but it doesn't move as easily as after we clean it up and grease it ourselves with brand new silicone grease. So even if there is movement and it looks good and your brakes look good, you still want to clean it up and grease it so you just get more movement. It's just basic maintenance when you're changing the brake pads. And you can see after we grease it up, look at that. A lot of play, a lot of movement. You could turn this side to side. So even though these were still good, we cleaned them off, greased them up, and look how much better this is. We're going to have really good brake wear on these back brake pads here.